come down and usually at dawn I'll come down and then I'll, I'll let the dog out and then we open up the curtains and I open up the side door so she can go sit and watch the squirrels yes and now she gets in her position to watch the squirrels and the birds oh wait I'm not doing watercolor I need to do watercolor I've got something to do on Wednesday this has got to be done. This is a much bigger project. It's a critique group, but half of them have studied with me, so it's sort of like my group. Last time we all met, I said, you know what would be interesting, because they have trouble working from photographs. We all choose one photograph. I wasn't there at that meeting. So everybody submitted landscapes, because that's what we're known for, our landscapes, right? And everybody claimed in this meeting more recently, everybody said, well, I didn't, have, I didn't vote for this. And I said, well, somebody voted for it because it got in. But so everybody hated it. And I don't like irises. I love flowers, but I don't particularly like irises. And bearded irises are really silly looking. That's what it's called, a bearded iris. So that's my other painting. I did that little oil first. And that's all I was going to do. And then the next meeting got delayed. And so I thought, well, well, if I'm going to have to wait, and you know, now we're talking about maybe putting all of our irises in the show that's currently up. And I thought, well, if I'm going to put it, you know, not, you know, this is okay. It's a little nice little painting, but you know, I want to do something, and I'm experimenting, learning acrylics. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity. So this is what I love: is all this stuff that I did to make the background. And you see, I signed it in advance. This is one of the rare cases, and the reason is because this stuff was wet and I could actually gouge into it. And I thought, oh, that's neat, because I saw somebody doing that. I thought, well, that's cool. So I thought I would do it while it's still wet, but now, of course, it's long since dry. But I decided, just a big flower, but it's called a bearded iris. So I put this guy in, and he's holding on to his beard, or he will be. And he's just sitting in there inside that iris, and he's going, whose beard is it? But I gotta finish it. I didn't follow my drawing exactly. I, there is a photograph, and the photograph but you can see the difference between the photograph. First of all, I added another one of these, I think they're called falls that flop, because that one's off camera, you can't see it. So I thought I'd put the other one in, because it made a better balance and made more movement. That's a photograph of my oil painting. So you can see that I already in that one. That's so what I'm sort of copying from that. I'm not really not copying from this anymore, but I thought it would be fun to have him in there. I'm sure that iris lovers will go, oh, what's that? <laughs> and only a few people with my peculiar sense of humor will go, oh, I love that. That's cool. <laughs> and so I don't care. I'm having fun because I'm also learning acrylic. So it's, it's OK. But see, I got to keep this misting. Now I have to concentrate on this. So what I'm doing is fixing the mistakes I already made. When I, I started drawing it, and I think I started from the photograph, only I had flipped the photograph. This is a flip of the original photograph. So I started with the wrong photograph, and so everything was off going the wrong direction. This whole thing was going that away instead of going this away. Then I got my own painting out and went, oh, I see, I flipped it. I didn't do from the photograph, I just changed it. And the original, from my perspective, my painting is the original. This photograph is not. But you see, I had to put black in all here to get rid of what was in the wrong place. All of this stuff has been blacked out, and I'm gonna have to paint over it. But this is the thing about acrylic. That's matte, that's um, black gesso, and it just dries instantly, and it's a great surface to paint on. So I can come back in with stuff. Let's see, I need to fix that. I think I started, well, of course, pencil and paper. And then very early in, in whatever, you know, what would now be called daycare sort of level or pre kindergarten. I was sent to a school my mother had gone to that uh, was run by the same 
maiden ladies, and Miss King had been a quite successful female artist in a time that women, and so despite the fact that she won prizes, she was in the first armory show in 1913, she couldn't get ahead because she was a woman, because women weren't supposed to, you know, they couldn't run the organization, they couldn't do anything. So she taught watercolor in this school. And so very early out, we first started with poster paints, but, you know, which is like gouache, but it used to be the non-toxic thing they used in, uh, to make this glow, so that's what this is about. To make it so that it feels like sun is hitting it. I don't usually stand like this. All right, why am I gonna match this? Do I wanna match my own colors? Yes, we do, because we like that little painting. But it may not make it in the big world. What works in a small painting doesn't always work in a big painting. But we're going to give it a try. He's going to have all this hair flowing up into this. He's going to be going to have this kind of white hair when I get to him. Everything is about time. Everything. Everything. Now, there's never you can never escape time. So if you're going to do something. It has to be something you actually really want to do because really it's going to take time away from whatever else you want to do. Hey, 